It's been 50 years since the first World Championships in rhythmic gymnastics, and this, the 32nd, heralds a new Olympic cycle, a new judging code, and a challenging new competition format. Kiev plays host, Ukraine's capital, a resplendent mix of ancient and modern, with a charm to match that of this most beautiful sport. Four apparatus golds already decided, and today it's the all-around world title at stake. 24 gymnasts in two groups, ranks 13 to 24 have completed. Now the top 12 take the floor, and a new world champion will be crowned. Can the 15-year-old Russian princess Yana Kudryatseva become queen over her teammate Margarita Mamun? And what of the challenge from home crowd favourite Gana Ritsadinova? First, let's take a look back at some ups and downs of the earlier stages of the competition. Sylvia Mitova, uncharacteristic from her. Seventh in the World Championships two years ago. An unhappy start. Netta Rifkin from Israel. Seventh in the London Olympics, top 10 in the 2011 Worlds. She didn't have a happy outing either, this time with clubs. Expensive. Alina Maximenko, sixth in London, fifth in the Worlds. She came to grief with the apparatus. She won a bronze medal of just 24 hours ago. Look at that. And there was more to come. Never know how much I love you. Never know how much I can. When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bend. You give me fever. Well, that was the second mistake, and it put pay to any prospect of a medal. Disappointment. A superstar for Ghana, Ritsadinova, the home favourite. Surely buoyed by a gold medal with hoop and silver with ribbon at these World Championships, she got off to a real flying start. Confidence growing with every second. Just the start she hoped for. 18.25, first place after the first rotation. Already the proud owner of two bronze medals, Melitina Staniota. And she showed signs of another good competition here. She opened with a 17-9. And this performance of Hoop just got better and better. Lovely little touches all the way through. No serious mistakes. 
steadily building. Jana Kudratseva posted her intentions with a hefty 18.533. This was with Hoop. She's back on course for gold with a performance full of verve and confidence. Such maturity for a 15-year-old. 18.083, then an 18.533 in the lead after two. The other Russian star, Margarita Mamoun, recovered from an uncertain 17.833 with hoop to produce this performance with ball. All the touches that made her one of the favourites before this competition started. 18.35 and back in the race for medals. At halfway, it was Jana Kudryatseva who had the edge over Gana Ritsatinova. Margarita Mamun was still in the hunt in third place. Staniuta was just out of it. Kurjatseva went from strength to strength. Here she is with ball. A stunning exercise, which extended a lead even further. Princess on the way to becoming a queen. Eighteen point five five. She just goes on and on. Margarita Mamoun succumbed to pressure and uncharacteristically dropped the apparatus. Cubs can be tricky. There went her medal chances. Seventeen two six six, a slender hope, but she'd have to be fantastic on the final apparatus. Son Yonye delighted us all with this ball exercise, giving her hopes of a top six finish just as she did with a simple and surprise result at the London Olympics. There's an unadorned freshness about her work. And once again, it impressed the judges. What a great future in store for the young Korean.
She's certainly doing it her way. And without doubt, there'll be no final curtain. She's got a great future. Captivating from her. Seventeen point six eight three. So, back to the present, and we enter the final rotation of this competition. Melitina Staniuta, 19 years old from Dynamo Minsk. She's had a great World Championships. <laughs> Two bronzes in the apparatus finals. One with ball, the other with ribbon. Lovely, confident, clean work. Cossack develops into scale pivot. Pivots in attitude. Oh, she's been building steadily. 17.9 she opened with. Then with a 17.95. An 18.116. And this looks just as good. Lovely control. Variation of pace from the pivot. Well, that sets the seal on a really great competition. Nonchalant little touch of the clubs at the end. Great from Elita Nurse Daniota. Hugely confident performance. Third all round of the World Championships in 2010, 12th in the Olympic Games, two years later in London. Two bronze medals already at this World Championships. And that was her best performance so far 18.2, 72.166, the lead at the moment, but some great guns to come. Deng Senyu from China. Fifth in the 2010 Asian Games. She's made two finals. Beg your pardon, she made three. She got a fifth on clubs as well as making hoop and ball. Delightful little touches, look at this. Well, she's not made 18 so far in this competition, but this looks good to me. 
1745-17916-17108. Can she finish in the 18s? Definitely China's rising star. Lovely performance there from Sen Yu Jung. Eleventh at the London Olympics just a year or so ago. She will be delighted with a consistent performance. Finishes with a 17-9. She didn't get her 18. But look at the total. Jana Kodratseva built steadily. 18-0-3-3 for her first apparatus, but it's been up and up all the way since. Final performance. It's with clubs. She has that very unusual blend of perkiness and balletic grace. And it works so well for her. Wonderful flexibility. Superb technically with the apparatus. Look at the control. Asymmetric circling work with the clubs. contrast in tempo and movement. She's really stunning to watch. 15 years old and brimming with confidence. Well, she puts her competition to bed with a fantastic performance. Absolutely mesmerizing, 15 years old. This surely is our new queen of rhythmic gymnastics. Beautiful work, consummate technique. Magical, 18.7, what a series of scores. Unassailable, they know she's the champion. Margarita Mamoun, she's had an up and down, a really. Started with a 17.833, lifted the game to 18.35. Faltered a little with 17266. Now then, the faintest chance of a medal, but she needs a huge score. Ah, not the confidence you would have expected. Rearward Illusion Series.
got that biting edge. It's lackluster for her. Her standards are so very, very high. She'll be desperately disappointed. Well, not the finish she would have hoped for, Agarita Mamoun. But she'll be back, I'm sure of that. Chances of a medal have gone. She won't get the high score she needs for that. See Falter in these scales, not under control. She touched the floor there. She just would not have hoped after that to have got a medal. She knows. And so does Irina Weiner. She finishes with a 16-8-4-1. Great disappointment. No medal. Jana Ratsadinova. She just needs to keep her focus. Silver medal beckons. Kurzyatseva, unassailable. Staniuta. She's been consistent. Rizatinova has a chance for silver. Beautifully elegant, gracefully balletic, and so accurate. She's kept her focus all the way through this competition. There's no sign of it waning. Look at that. Crowds are going wild behind her. Fabulous from her. She's done it, surely. It's a silver smile. What a world championship she's had. A gold and a silver in the individual apparatus. And this looks solid silver to me. Super performance. Absolute control through the scale pivot. Huge, lofty, confident throws. Accurate taps and catches. Talk about finishing with a flourish. Confirmation. It's silver. 18.466. Abina Deregina there is delighted and all the champions she's produced and all the champions they've watched over the years. Well, she's done it. The 15-year-old Jana Kurdyatseva takes gold ahead of Ghana Ritsatinova. Alita Staniota takes bronze. And look at Sen Yu Deng and Yon Yai Son. They finished ahead of Mamoun. A competition full of ups and downs. 24 made this final, and they all deserve mention. A great all-round individual competition. There's the victor. Well worth it, and they are delighted. Great gymnasts, all of them.